what's up guys back with another video i know i'm wearing the same shirt as the last video but that's because i am trying to get all of my back catalog uh situated with all of the different games that i got without trying to make videos on them and now i want to start making videos on them so we're going to kick it off with jack's new and retro now for two of the games i paid 10 bucks each and everything else i paid five we got sega sports right here 2k now this is a pretty decent uh, hockey game especially for back in the day we got nfl 2k one of the first ones like i said i only paid five bucks we got nba 2k so pretty much got all the first 2k games for the dreamcast We got the two games that we paid 10 bucks for. We got WWF Attitude and NFL Blitz 2000. And then also we paid only five bucks for this right here. We have Sega Sports Tennis 2K2. So we paid some pretty decent prices from Jack's New and Retro over in Brattleboro, Vermont. Um, next, we're gonna be looking at some of the stuff that I got from the flea market. Um, they just had the last day of the flea market um, a week ago, so it stinks that it's over with. But I got these for $15 each. We got Quake 3. Now, I couldn't pass up with how clean this was, um, so I definitely had to get it. We got Soul Calibur. Now this game, everybody says is, if not the best, it's the second best game on the Dreamcast. If you're into those fighting games, of course. What an amazing game. And then last but not least, we have a sealed copy of Space Channel 5. Um, I'm not going to open this. Um, I do have um, this think on like an xbox collection disc or something like that but it's pretty decent now at the flea market where i got those at i paid a hundred dollars each i know a hundred dollars each for these games right here we have skies of arcadia and you guys already know this game is worth way more than 100 bucks and this is an amazing condition right here and we also do have both discs. Now I'm not sure if this is an original case. Next, we have Fantasy Star Online. Fantasy Star Online is the best, if not the second best game on the Dreamcast. A lot of people argue between this and the last game, but the cool thing about the last game is it's way cheaper than this, but this game is great. Now, Power Stone 2. For 100 bucks, you can't beat that. It is an amazing deal. I know people who have gotten better deals, of course, but I think I couldn't pass it up for only 100 bucks. If I wanted to buy it on eBay, it would be way more than that. So, for 100 bucks, Power Stone 2, Dreamcast, check it out. One of the best games, in my opinion. Now, for these last few games. Um, Two of them are PS1, two of them are Dreamcast, and I got them from Turn It Up, which is basically a music um, store. This is a copy of World Series Baseball 2K1. Sealed, pretty cool, for only 10 bucks. Um, now this, I actually got 10 bucks off, because um, if you spend $100 there, then you get $10 off. So it was just $90 for everything. And I did get other stuff besides the video games, but they're not game related, so we're not gonna go into that. For the PlayStation, we have the Grand Stream Saga. <clears throat> Dead or Alive for the PS1. We got this bad boy for only 20 bucks. Not bad at all. All right, and for the last game, I did get this one for free. Um, I thought I had two Dreamcast games from turn it up but I guess not we have 
this right here. I'm not even sure what this even is. It says get together, win a victory. Kind of looks like a football, soccer type game. Depending on whatever country you're in. This came free with my Japanese import game console that I just got today. Cannot wait to have a game room where I have all my games set up, making it look nice and for you guys to enjoy just as much as I do. Um, and I'm also going to show my new game console right now. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next gaming video. Peace, and thanks for watching.